Disclaimer! Just because we do it, doesn't mean you should. Now I take connector. So let's see, according to the instructions here, uh, you just blah 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 blah, the solder clamp onto the lead for good contact, the ignition lead is being held and guided, blah 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 blah, push it in the head with the clamp all the way until the ignition cover, and then screw it on the cover with a couple of turns to make sure the lead is fixed tightly. The ignition coil cover clicks onto the ignition coil. Right, okay. So, we've got this side right here. And uh, let me make sure this is... I don't want these to be, like, too hot. Okay, this one's nice and cool. So we should just be able to... Slide this in here. There we go. Got to kind of, yep, we've got to kind of wiggle it a little bit. And then it says screw it on with just a couple of turns. And okay, that'll do it. It's on really good. It's good and tight. Excellent. And then this side goes onto the coil. And we'll just do that with all of these. I don't know if you can tell, but there's kind of a point where it kind of snaps in place. And then give it like a couple of turns. I can feel it tightening on the lead. And now it's good and tight, because now it basically just wants to twist the lead instead of actually tighten down onto it. All right, cool, so this side's done. Now we'll flip this around and do this other side, which, uh, yeah, let's do this other side. Okay, now we're going to actually put on the side for the, uh, for the spark plug connectors. Now the tricky thing about this is remembering to put these little covers on first. And it's actually, these covers do not want to slide on the, the, on the leads at all. So uh, that's a little tricky, but what I realized is that the uh, the leads here you basically seems to work really well to mark like right about one and a quarter inches on the leads and then that is where we're gonna slide our boot onto okay and I say we a lot because well it's a lot you know it's more inclusive it's like you're right here with me, you know what I mean? But uh, you do whatever the heck you want to do. Uh, this is just what I'm doing. Okay. <clears throat> so now we can, uh, let's see here. We'll start with a longer one. Sure, why not? So um, for this one, we just leave this this side cut just as it is. Actually, we might, no, well, it's pretty flush, it's pretty good. Yeah, this one, let's cut this one a little bit more flush. Yeah, but we pretty much just wanna, we don't wanna strip the ends on this one. Okay. So anyway, uh, what I realized is like, you can't really slide this boot on here very well. Like it goes on that far and then it really, doesn't want to slide very well and it's very difficult to slide it forward so what I was using is this little funnel and then I just kind of slide the boot over the funnel enough to get it kind of started like that and break some of that friction and then what I do is just slide it in there and then oh, maybe I didn't you know what Oops, let's do this. Let's put it in here a little bit more. And actually, I guess using some, maybe some kind of powder or something might might be helpful. Uh, but this seems to work pretty well, too. And you just... There we go. Once you get the, the lead through the funnel, 
tube, you just slide it right about to that mark, that one and a quarter inch mark, and then just slide the funnel out, and then roll this back on itself, like that. Okay, and then now, there's basically like a little screw in there, which I'm not totally sure how that doesn't just cut the the copper wires, but I guess it doesn't, because that's how they designed it, and you just find the center of the lead, and you just screw it in until basically until it becomes really hard to turn and you, so you can kind of like hold the lead you know still and then twist the head on there or twist the connector and then once the connector seems like it's pretty much bottomed out once once you just start turning the the lead here like once it just starts to twist and you don't really have any more downward movement of the connector right about there you can just feel it's like bottomed out and then let's we'll take the boot and kind of slide it back over uh, over this connector here like so There we go. Shazam! And it slides over those ridges and makes a nice uh, watertight seal. It's on there really good. And that's how you do one of them. And that's just one way to do it. I'm sure there's other good ways, probably better ways, but it seems to work pretty well for me. And then this thing, this can come off as well, but that's where we're going to plug this, uh, put the spark plug, connect, or we're going to connect this to the spark plug. Ta-da! Now we do three more. Alright, we got our finished product here and notice how I put them through the grommet thingy here first before I uh, put the ends on. That's pretty important. So, let's go try it out. Let's see here. So we need... Let's get this stuff. Uh, let's just put that right there. Okay, so this is for the right hand side and it should go in, it's going to go in like this through here. Okay. Oh shoot! I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut the opposite side down actually. Without going, because otherwise I'm gonna hit that. I forgot about that. Okay. So let's just get. Oh, where's my cutters? There's some cutters. 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 All right. So I'm gonna have to trim just a tiny little bit off right here okay a little bit more I think that should do it Let's see. That will just do it, I think. So, OK. 
все. enough for now I might need to trim that a little bit more but that's in there good enough to see where these are going let's see here we've got a long one which is going to go to the other coil on the other side and let's see here one of these is going to go to three one of them is going to go to one got a short one and a long one so the two long ones right here So I think kind of the way that I labeled this, if we just go with the way I labeled it, then we'll say we have the bottom one here is going to be number three. And I think, oh, uh, well, shoot. It actually does go, goes right there. But this Clico is kind of in, in our way. So let's see if we can just move this Clico. For now. So, so number three. I don't know, that might be kind of a tight fit actually. Eh. Well, it's going to be a tight fit no matter how you do it. Alright, I think I might change it up. Let's have this top one go to number three. That might work better. Just so that there's like less stress. So I'll have to get rid of those markings. That might work out better like that. Doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that we have that each ignition coil has a spark has a lead going to each spark plug. So there's one and there are three. Put this in one right there. And we've got I may as well just you know, swap both of them. Actually I kinda made this one to go to this lead, so we'll have it go to that one. So we've got number one cylinder, it will be <clears throat> the number one coil, and I'll figure, I'll figure out how to route all this stuff, but basically, the annoying thing is the twist on here, the twist is a little tricky, but that's going to go right there, I've got number two, or number three, and I might that makes sense to go over that one actually, but I'll fix that later. We've got number three. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get all these tidied up and squared away. But right now I just want to kind of test out and see how they fit. Kind of same thing with this one. Let's see, this one is going to be, this one's going to number four. So we've got the number four coil right here. So this would be the number three, or uh, two, number two coil. Something like this. Okay, these are all connected. Do -ba -do 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 -ba -do -do. Okay, we've got two and four already connected here. And then we have, what is this, three. <laughs> So we've got a lot of slack on that one actually. I think that's because I actually connected it to, I actually measured it out for the other one. So I'll probably put it in the other one actually. And then one, but like I said, the most important thing 
in my estimation is that you have each coil is going to each spark plug and you got redundancy that way cool so yeah that does it for the wire bundle one thing I noticed here is that uh, with with the way that these connect here they they clamp in pretty good I mean they're, they're pretty tight and they do have kind of a suction a little bit with the seal but what I'm gonna do for extra uh, extra security on here I'm gonna put a zip tie around this rubber boot part and just uh, not super tightly but just kind of clamp it down so that it won't slip off of here like it definitely will not uh, slip off of the ignition coil because I did notice that like this one I think it was this one yeah it just it snaps on there but it's not or no it wasn't that one maybe it was this one or this one I think it was number, yeah it was this one it snaps on there but it's not as secure as I would like it so I'm not totally sure why that is I think it just has to do with this plug I mean it's pretty secure but I want to make sure that it does not come off so I'm gonna put zip ties around the uh, rubber boots here to, to make sure that they don't come off because yeah that oh that's pretty that's better right there and then the, another thing I noticed is that when you put these guys on um, sometimes there's like because it's it's there's a you know this rubber seal it actually makes it so that there's a bit of a air pressure pushing it off so if you take like a zip tie or something and you slide it against that rubber boot and then you put them on it makes it so there's not an air seal so, or oh, let me do it before it clicks so there's not an air seal so if it goes like that far and then you take the zip tie out it'll actually almost create a suction uh, to keep it on there so and it makes that nice little pop sound when it comes off so you kind of clamp it on or I mean push it on it clicks take the zip tie out and then it's gonna be on there extra good and then I'm gonna take the zip tie and and zip tie these guys down and make sure they don't ever come out Ding! oh wow man all right this has been quite a bit of a long process hopefully this video was helpful to you again there are plenty of other ways of doing this maybe this way isn't the best way um, but this is just how I did it and I just want to share that with you guys maybe it's helpful and I'm gonna tidy all this up uh, probably off camera so thanks for watching I'll see you next time